Hello everyone, we warmly welcome you all to our special program brought to you by Indian Achievers Forum. I am your host, Vatika Singh. Indian Achievers Award is an honor that celebrates the people who went extraordinary to effectuate their aspirations and ideas. In this series, we emphasize not only on the struggles and achievements of the people, but also on the social contributions they made to their native land, India. Before introducing you all to our one such achiever, let's take a look at the small A. Indian Achievers Forum is driven by a full-fledged advisory board. The board consists of experienced personalities who have excelled in their respective careers. Together, the forum organizes conferences, events, workshops, exhibitions, trade shows and B2B initiatives in India as well as abroad. Where there is passion, there is achievement. And where there is achievement, there is Indian Achievers Forum. Sunita Bajaj was 32 years old, a law graduate who had quit her job to chase her dreams. She had the passion for fabrics and apparels. As a child, she had seen her father, who was a yarn merchant, bring home colourful baby corn yarns and fabrics. Being fascinated seeing the yarn and transforming it into fabrics and later into finished garments had inspired her to start her entrepreneurial journey and formed Srivari Exports. Over the past three decades, Srivari Exports has grown in volumetric capacity, customer diversity and product variability. Prioritizing quality and to deliver premium apparels that is a perfect blend of sustainability, style and comfort within deadlines has created the footprint of Srivari Exports in both the international and domestic markets. She has also been conferred with the Arc of Europe, which is one of the world's most prestigious awards recognizing the quality and excellence of companies worldwide. Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm good, Vatika. I hope you too. Yes. So uh, before entering into the questions, tell us something about you and your professional journey so far. Firstly, I would like to thank you for having me here today. I am Sunita Bajaj and I am the proprietor of Srivari Exports. I am a resident of Mumbai and I am a commerce and law graduate. Right out of college, I worked as a tax practitioner, analyzing balance sheets of multinational companies for the banks to help them disperse loans to their companies. In my spare time, I would help a friend of mine whose family was into exports of ready-made garments and I got a first-hand experience of procuring processes, various stages of production, quality standards, delivery timelines, etc. And armed with these experiences, I ventured out on my entrepreneurial journey. About Srivari Exports, it, is a, it was a startup in 1990, manufacturing quality high-end ready-made garments for men's and women's wear and children too, to a global clientele and their brands. We have exported various garments across multi multiple cities in America, Middle East, Europe, and Australia. In 2010, we forayed within India to cater to the domestic demand across six states and going ahead. That's really good. That's really so, uh, moving ahead, uh, I'm really keen to know that what inspired you to pursue this particular field as your business? Actually, my calling into garment sector started very early from my childhood. My father was into the yarn business and seeing him bring home small baby corn yarns, these were colorful and these always fascinated me because I was transforming these yarns into fabrics and further into garments always would be playing on my mind. I grew up seeing my mother's prowess for various types of embroideries, crochet garments and making laces. She ensured I picked up these skills as a child. In the early 90s, family-run business actually dominated the garment sector. Entrepreneurship startups were a novel term in the Indian market then. And it was fairly an unorganized sector. The experience from my early childhood and managing quality for the export house, which I had been helping out, got me to realize that there is a need for trendy, smart and quality garments at an affordable price. These three things came together to help my dream come true, my family background, my passion for garments and the experience that I had gained as a tax practitioner and quality manager for a brand. 
Right, ma'am. So moving ahead, we know for a fact that starting anything has never been easy for any one of us. So what all were the challenging predicaments that you had to go through initially in this journey? There were actually quite a few. Firstly, there were limited financial resources. The bank loan sanction took a very long time and friends and family did not come forward to help you. Second one was setting up an in-house sampling unit. As we started to scale up and take on more export orders for production, I saw an opportunity to showcase the art of possibility to our customers by setting up an in-house sampling unit. It was a risk risky proposition as rentals were high and I wasn't sure if the risk would pay off. And also, the networking and collaboration, lady entrepreneurships were not very few in those earlier years in the 90s. We didn't have the avenues supporting ecosystems like we have seen today thanks to the internet, social media, and forums. Secure, secure sourcing the right fabric, accessories from the right vendors, finding the right correct partners to collaborate with for dyeing, printing, washings, embroideries is very critical for the quality output to be shipped out in time. In the end, when I saw our products on the shelves in the retail stores abroad, it was a very proud feeling to put a quality product in the market with a Made in India tag. And I feel quite proud about it. It's really commendable. So uh, moving ahead, tell us in detail about the product and services of Srivari Exports. Actually, for the, both the domestic and international markets, we offer a wide range of services. These are just casuals to semi-formals to formals, all in different categories. These are all made in for menswear, ladies wear, corporate for corporate wear, semi-formal, casuals, comfort wear, and also High fashion consulting is what I would like to think about because we have we can help fashion retailers rethink strategy and optimize their operations. Right. So what exactly are your future plans with respect to Srivari exports? Technology advancements in the recent years have been very rapid. In right. the upcoming years, there will be the use of several unprecedented blends of materials, for instance, eco-friendly, sustainable materials. These are like 100% bamboo, bamboo blends, and of course, natural fabrics like linens. Our focus would be to make our production chain carbon neutral. This would entail sourcing right and collaborating with partners that fellow eco-friendly sustainable processes. Right, ma'am. So you must be knowing about the Atmanirbhar Bharat campaign prevailing in India right now. So what are your views on this campaign and how is your organization working towards it? Atma Nirbhar Bharat is a wonderful initiative taken by our Honorable Prime Minister. The government is doing various things. We can see the development that is happening all around us. And there is certainly an ease of conducting business at present as compared to a decade ago. The textile sector is a key sector that will help in building a self-reliant India. Focus is needed on upgrading the upper skills and integrating the sector with the latest technology along with financial assistance, Worldwide, the textile sector employs a lot of women force, and so also we in India. That would add strength to the efforts of women empowerment too, which is also one of the key factors affecting employment. We contribute to this mission by increasing our market share, thereby generating more work opportunities here in India. This would aid in creating our presence globally with a Made in India product as well as for local supply. So first of all, congratulations on winning the Indian Achievers Award. Uh, I really want to know that what was the feeling when you came to know that you have won the award and who all have been your constant supporters in this journey? I'm actually honored to receive this award of professional achievement and nation building. Extremely thankful to the team that selected me. This award brings in the years to actually continue delivering our best. And no one goes to where they are alone. Many people directly and indirectly help you along the way. While it's pretty obvious that collaborating with business partners and everywhere else in your inner circle is a given thing, but we definitely are, their, their contribution is definitely there in us. So now since we know a lot about your professional role, tell us something about your social contributions as well. We can contribute in various ways. One is conservation of water. When we are using our dyes and chemicals, we try and use uh, eco-friendly stuff, which is uh, saving a lot of uh, water, as well as chemicals, we ensure that these are the ones which we are using are sustainable in the long run. Manufacturing has to be safe for the employers, employees of these kind of uh, 
companies, surrounding companies, and as well as the environment. Socially, to the people's safety first comes into play. We ensure that various measures are taken and put into place wherever our work is going on in all the factories. And that I must say that it's a very important step taking towards uh, the environment. All right. So before concluding this session, you know that IF is followed not only by mainstream organizations, but also those young minds who aspire to be like our achievers someday. So what is that one message you'd like to give them? Basically, no idea is too small. If you believe in it, just do it. That's yeah. one motto which I've always followed. And I would love the, the, the present generation also to follow it. You can fail at times, no harm, but you can definitely make something better after that. You learn from your mistakes. Right. And that I must say is a great piece of advice. Thank you so much for joining with us today. It was a pleasure talking to you. And we hope that you continue to inspire people of all ages forever. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Vatika. Love being on the show. Thank you.